Well, hello there and welcome to Common Sense Education's weekly tools introduction for you to try to make your life a little bit easier in whatever way we can. I'm Chrissy, that's Tanner, and we are here every Tuesday to give you a new tool that we have either recently or somewhere in the near past reviewed or updated um, that we think could be really cool for your classroom. Um, and of course, you can always visit us at Common Sense Education to get even more information, read the full review, and see our myriad resources. This week, it's Tanner's turn. Tanner, please take it away. The tool I'm going to talk about is a lot like this shirt. It was sitting around. I hadn't thought about it for a while. Pulled it out of the closet or the reviews queue, so to speak, and was really pleasantly surprised with the results. Um, it's a tool <laughs> it looks called, <laughs> called called Proven <laughs> Sustainable, and it's one that was been on my radar for maybe a year or more. And I just recently, May 20, uh, 22, had this one reviewed. And I was really impressed with it. Don't let the three-star rating uh, fool you here. I think this is a really um, easily recommendable three-star tool. But just based on our rubric, we had some critiques that you can find in the review here. Um, but I do think this is something really well worth checking out for teachers who are um, in social studies or in science or any subject and kind of addressing issues of climate change or just big challenges, big global challenges facing the world. And that's because Proven Sustainable is a site that explores global cultures that we could look to for lessons about um, resilience and sustainability, which is a really interesting concept. Um, so the creators of this site um, have a whole host of these um, cultures, which um, many of them are native indigenous first nations cultures, but then there are also cultures from the African diaspora. So they split these here in terms of um, proven enduring cultures, which would be your indigenous cultures, and proven um, free and proven resistant, which would be your African diaspora cultures. And they have really fascinating information that you could just, like your students could just get something out of browsing um, these various cultures and just reading the kind of informational pages on them. Um, like that in itself is a worthwhile learning experience. But where this really takes off to me is that they've um, spoken with and collected um, firsthand kind of insights and accounts of people from these cultures from all across the globe. And it's really, um, the materials then are anchored in key quotes from these people, but also pictures that illustrate um, aspects of their culture, which you can browse here just on the site if you want. But there are, for a teacher's purposes, I think you're going to want to go to the slides. So each culture has a slide deck that gives you some basic. Um, so here we're looking at the Ainu culture in Japan. Um, indigenous Japanese ancient culture. Um, they give you an overview of kind of what's in the deck and then a basic kind of overview of the culture itself. Um, so you can see you've got pictures here. You've got people. Um, they partner with various um, organizations and they often link to these on the pages and in the deck so you can do further exploration of, of different people representing these cultures now or advocating for them. Um, and then with each quote and picture, there's a follow-up slide that gets students thinking about, um, th thinking critically about the text, the quote, the image, and then kind of a larger media literacy 
context. Um, so it's like three levels for each of these quotes. Um, and this is the extent of these decks. There is at the end, um, as I said, these extra resources, which I think are pretty neat. You know, like here you've got films that you could maybe screen, some, you know, firsthand texts, some primary sources, some of these associations. So you could, you could see this extending into um, a kind of advocacy or activism lesson, a film analysis and discussion, or a textual analysis and discussion. For every single one of these, you have all those resources, um, which is really neat. And I learned a lot just like browsing around and discovering all of these different peoples and their various traditions. And it's really, a, you know, an incredible mix that is truly global. Like it takes you like every continent, it seems. Um, and I love that they kind of separated it into, you know, enduring cultures and resistant and free cultures. So you have this African diaspora, um, which is really neat. So like the concept is amazing. Like it is a brilliant concept, um, information that you're going to have a hard time finding yourself and collecting. And it's all collected in one place, firsthand accounts, interviews with, with people, which is great. But our critique in the review really came down to the fact that it's not quite a, you know, these aren't full lesson plans. And we found that a teacher would have to do a bit of work to kind of kick things off, a bit of work to follow them up. There, the assessments need some work. Like it's not all fully fleshed out, but you've got the beginning of what could be great lessons and units, I think. Um, and there is, there does seem to be a, a cool future ahead because they've added this conversation series where you've got interview, video interviews with people, which is kind of neat. Um, and I could see them expanding this take action section, which right now there isn't really much there, but I think there's a bright future ahead. So this is like a, this is a site to really keep your eye on. Um, and I'm realizing I didn't click the, uh, the banner. So it's at proven sustainable dot org is where you can find this one. Um, and everything is free. This is a, a nonprofit organization where everything is provided completely free of charge. Wow. That's, I mean, there are a lot of layers to that site that you could yeah. come at things from a ton of, a ton of places. And I also, one thing that also gets me excited about that site is the, when I think back to some of the other tools that we have profiled, profiled, we're profilers. That's exciting. No. Um, that, introduce maybe some new voices to your classroom like teachingbooks.net teacher to teacher global um and there have been a couple others there was another one with voices of indigenous people but all of like coming at these things from different angles and all of these sort of fresh resources that do so much footwork um and provide information from such a wide variety of places is really cool. Yeah. And, and to me, what really stuck out is the, I think, especially with young people, when, when they look toward their future, it's like things are intense. You know, these problems are large. They feel insurmountable, I think, for a lot of young people and for me. <laughs> but what I love about this site is there's a hopefulness and optimism. Mm. It's like, there's a reality that these people have gone through a lot, um, especially those in the, you know, from the African diaspora. But there's the, the idea behind the site is let's look to a success people have already had living in a way which um, is more sustainable and, and could provide us with inspiration for ways to kind of remake the world in a more positive way direction that could tackle the challenges facing everyone more successfully. And that to me is super unique. And it's an approach that kind of go pairs really well with like what often gets taught around climate change, which is more scientific approaches often and solutions 
or more kind of civic and political solutions. And this is more about ways of life, ways of forming community and that kind of thing, which I think is pretty special and could make for incredible um, lessons and units. Agreed. It's really cool. All right. Well, um, thank you, Tanner. And make sure that you come back again next Tuesday. Come visit us and see what we have on the docket um, as profilers. And make sure also to come to commonsenseeducation.org to see all of the other reviews, resources, lesson plans, articles, videos, and much more. We are here for you. And um, whether or not your school year is out, um, you're doing great. See you soon. <laughs>